Hello, welcome back to another episode from Pale Horse Survival and Tactical. I'm Bill, glad you could join me. In this episode, we're building some camp comfort. Stay tuned. All right, I'm up here on an overnighter at the primitive shelter. So I've got the fire pit all set up with an earthen fire reflector. Some wood I'm still gathering. Uh, what we're doing in this episode, I'll we'll be sitting around the campfire later. We're going to make a Native American style backrest. So I have three pieces here, about the straightest pieces of deadfall I can find out here, and some smaller pieces. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, and get started on that. I'm uh, kind of getting pressed on time. The sun, I've got about three hours to sunset, three and a half, and in that amount of time I got to get a fire going and get dinner going and build the backrest. So let's get going. Okay, so what we're going to do first, we're going to, whoops, sorry about that, point the end of these. We're making a tripod. So this one's already pointed. I'm going to put the, uh, I guess it would help if I was in the frame here. There we go. This one's already pointed. Like any tripod, I want the points on the ground. So we're going to match up the fat ends back here in the back. That's the skinny end. And that's a fat end. So we're going to go ahead and uh, tripod kind of set into the ground. Native Americans would make these. And this is a, a very basic version of what they would make. Theirs is actually much more elaborate. This is a very watered down version. I don't have the time or the materials to build one. Uh, a traditional one. So these are the pointed ends. We're going to spin this around. We're going to make a tripod. Get these sitting about. They're not exactly straight. Not the best I could do out here. So you want to match them up here. And I'm just using some cotton cordage here, twine, and now I've got to find my well, trying to find out the beginning of this. Ah, here we go. We're going to build a standard tripod lashing here. This is just going to be a quick down and dirty, a little pressed on time, so I have to get the Finish the camp chores. It's a standard slip nut. Or 
just going to wrap all the way around with this. You can figure eight that through there. Just another method. I did the slip knot I left a pretty good tail on here that we're going to use to tie it off too hard and break this twine. Many native tribes would use these for sitting in camp and inside the teepees. Good backrest was a valuable piece of furniture. Provided some comfort. Terminate this. All right, we'll turn that piece off later. So let me go ahead and reposition the camera. Actually, I need to be on a little bit more level ground. Maybe we'll finish this up over in camp. Stay tuned. All right. So this is what we have. Standard tripod. And you can make it wider if you wish. I've already harvested some pieces here for this so I don't want to go too wide and 
Just stick them out every two inches on up. And then uh, we'll uh, go over the next phase of this. But that's what we have. So we're going to go ahead and start lashing these on here. Stay tuned. All right. Spin the screen around here. Same thing, standard slip knot. Leave a tail on it. We've got pieces sticking off here, little nubs. Want to get poked in the back with one of those. I'm going to put a blanket over this for padding. It doesn't hurt to clean these up though. off here. It'll look a little bit neater. Alright, one, two, three, four. Go ahead and put one about, start the first one around here, I think. a standard square lashing. Uh, looking for a toggle here. Now we're going to frap it. double overhand to terminate it. Grab another piece and do the same on the other side. Same thing, just standard little slip knot here. Boom, 
leave a tail. That gives you room to tie it off. All right. Again, standard square lashing. longer piece there, but I didn't. Alright, cut these little tails off here and throw them in the fire pit. So there we go. And you can use thicker pieces too. I mean, if you're, I don't weigh a whole lot, so I don't need thick pieces. But if you're a bigger person, you can use a lot, a lot thicker pieces and spread this out wider, make these longer. There's no hard and fast rule to this. Build it to suit yourself. Now this has got a little curve to it, so I'm going to put the curve in facing towards the back, so it'll accommodate the back side. That's got a little curve. It's got a little curve. It's got a curve. This one does. This one. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a curve, not much. So this will work out just fine for what we're doing here. I was just gathering firewood and was running around and I just grabbed these in haste. So this is just a very quick demo here. And uh, probably space these about every two inches. Even these up so it's about the same amount of overhang on the ends on both sides. That way I don't have to trim anything afterwards. And I cut a longer piece of cordage here so we can wrap it a bit better and frap it a bit better. We're wrapping and frapping here. If you look down in my channel, if you're way down in the video list, you'll find a Knotcraft series that I shot, I think it was three years ago. I cover many different knots and lashings and hitches. About this cotton cordage, the knots hold really well with it. This can be nice around the fire tonight. Same thing, standard little little slip knot. Boom, or the tail.
think you guys get the the idea at this point so since I'm on an overnighter I need to conserve my battery and memory as much as possible here so I'm gonna do one more and then I'm gonna cut it finish this and then we'll fade back and uh, check out the uh... all right well, that was interesting. I went to move the camera and it shut off on me. To be perfectly honest, I really don't care for electronics. Electronics and I do not get along. So anyways, as I was saying, I'm going to do one more, and then I'll cut the footage. Apparently the camera wanted to cut it for me. So that's all there is to it. It's just repetitious until you reach the top. So I'm going to go ahead and complete this and then uh, we'll return shortly. Stay tuned. All right, so this is what we have. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get a blanket, put a blanket over there, and uh, go ahead and uh, test it out. Stay tuned. I have my blanket there is on my pack. And I just put it over the, right over the entire thing and left the pad down here on the bottom to sit on. I'm screen around so you can see what I'm doing here. So this is just right over the top of the, I just hang the top right over the, the end. And it's not too bad. The only problem is I'm on a slope here. But it's comfortable. Gives you something to uh, to 
to lean back against and uh, rest your back. I think it works pretty good. Comfortable. Even kind of lay your head back. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, I'm on a slope here. I'm going to have to stick this thing over here on more level ground. But Let's see if I can find a little more piece of uh, level ground and we'll give it a shot. I just went ahead and backed it up to my entrance to the shelter. The ground's got a pretty good slope on it here. And this is much better on level ground. It's uh, Now, I'm not leaning at a at an angle and uh, it's actually pretty darn comfortable it's not bad at all it's a uh, primitive uh, primitive chase lounge anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this short quick tutorial as much as I did making it please like subscribe and share I hope all of you are having an outstanding day or night depending on where you're located and I will see all of you very soon on the next one everybody take care Bye-bye.